Hey, it's the Fish Guy reporting to you from the studio at Something Fishy with the latest news from Fish Guy TV. Today I'm excited to introduce a new training segment for both our retail customers and our team as well. Both be our existing team and also the new team that joined us as the company continues to grow. We've put a lot of our training and all the important things in setting up, designing, and installing an aquarium onto video in short segments so that you can get things done right and done right the first time. Hey, it's the Fish Guy with Something Fishy. Today we're gonna to talk about the nitrogen cycle within your aquarium. So you have a new tank set up at home or in your office, and the tank is a very sterile environment. So it's important that we learn about the nitrogen cycle so that we properly introduce the right volume of fish to your tank, okay? When you have a new tank, let's say that you have a 100 gallon tank, the best way to determine the amount of fish to put in it is about 10% of the total volume. Depending on your filtration system and the design of your tank, you can have an inch or two of fish per gallon. So a 100 gallon tank, 100 inches of fish, 10% of that's gonna be 10 inches or so. So that's two or three fish depending on the size. You wanna put those into your aquarium and as they go into the aquarium, just those few fish are slowly gonna release waste into your tank. Also, you're gonna to start to feed them, so there's gonna be some excess food and, and uh, debris buildup in your aquarium. That's where the ammonia comes from in your fish tank. Okay, now ammonia is not something that's healthy for the fish, so we've gotta get it out of your tank. Well, thank God for Mother Nature that it naturally creates uh, bacteria that will break down the ammonia in your fish tank. So right now, there's nothing extra that you have to do. So once the ammonia starts to go into your fish tank, you're naturally gonna grow bacteria. The bacteria is referred to as nitrosomonos. And nitrosomonos will basically consume and break down the ammonia. So as you have ammonia starting to grow in your tank, you don't have to worry, it'll naturally be broken down. As long as you're slowly adding fish to it, the bacteria can also slowly grow to the same volume of, back of ammonia that you have in your tank. So once you have ammonia in your tank, and that's been consumed by nitrosomonos, and it gets broken down into what's called nitrites. Nitrites are another toxin within your aquarium, and the nitrites can grow over time and also become toxic. Well, again, Mother Nature created a bacteria called Nitrobacter that will take your nitrite, it'll basically consume that and turn it into a nitrate. So now they have nitrates in your aquarium. The nitrates can only be removed through water changes, which is critical to uh, the healthy uh, st stabilization of a fish tank. So once you have nitrates in your tank, you wanna perform regular water changes depending on your system design to remove those nitrates. Nitrates can also be removed through live plant life depending on how your tank is set up as well. So basically what I've reviewed is that you can put, by putting fish into your tank, you are gonna create ammonia that needs to be converted into a nitrite and a, a nitrate. And the two bacteria that are gonna take care of that for you are nitrosomonos and nitrobacter. The other thing to keep in mind is we talked about a new fish tank, you have to also remember that even if your tank is well established, let's say you have a, a 55 or 100 gallon tank, the tank's a year old, and let's say there's 15 fish in there, and your tank can handle another 15 fish. Well, you can't go to the store and just add another 15 fish to your tank. If you add another 15 fish to your tank right away, you're gonna grow your ammonia level by 100%, the amount of waste that's going in your tank. And that quick, um, that introduction of waste into your tank is way too much too quick for the current amount of live bacteria to keep up with. So you need to always slowly introduce fish. Again, I'm gonna to refer to about 10% of the total volume of fish should be added to the tank anytime you're gonna add fish, and not too much more than that. Always add over time. And to give you a point of reference, if you set up a new fish tank, you can slowly add 10% of fish about every week or two, depending on the levels of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrates in your tank. And what I'm gonna go over is how you actually will know that within your system. There's a couple of basic test kits on the market. Here's one that I highly recommend for the entry level hobbyist and even for the experienced guy that just wants to have a routine check of the waste level in their tank. Okay, so now let me show you how to actually test for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. The first and more basic way of testing it are with test strips. They're fairly accurate, maybe not precise, but a good way for an entry level hobbyist or a more experienced person to just have a gauge of what's happening with the nitrogen cycle within the aquarium. So the first one is ammonia test strips. Ammonia test strips, it's one, uh, one strip that you just dip in a vial of water and you pull it out and within seconds you're gonna know whether you have ammonia in your tank or not. The next product is 
the five in one test strips, which will test multiple things. But the two items that we're talking about right now are nitrite and nitrate. And both of those tests will be on this strip. This one gets dipped right in the aquarium and within seconds of pulling it out, you'll know whether you have nitrite or nitrate in the tanks. With these two test kits, remember you're looking really for about zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and then you may have a small percentage of nitrates in your tank. It's typically measured in parts per thousand, and on a scale of one to a hundred, you want your nitrate to be less than 20 in a reef tank and less than 40 if it's gonna be in a salt water uh, fish only tank or a freshwater tank. Now, these are very good test kits, but again, they're not gonna be the most accurate. You could go to a Seachem product and these two test kits here will be a more accurate, it'll take a little bit longer to, to test them um, and to mix the uh, solutions to get the right readings, but this is gonna be a lot more accurate. So if you're testing with your test strips and find out that you're having a problem, you may wanna get a more accurate reading with a better quality kit. Now, in addition to uh, the ammonia going into the tank to then cultivate bacteria, you can expedite the process by putting stability in your aquarium. Stability is for a freshwater aquarium, and this will help uh, populate the bacteria count in your tank. This is great for a new fish tank or an established tank if you're adding a lot of fish to it. And if you're talking about a pond, it works very much the same way. And the product for the pond is, uh, by Aquascape, is also called bacteria. And this product should be added to ponds on a regular basis. That's the nitrogen cycle. Check out Something Fishy for more videos at somethingfishyinc.com. Up your aquarium. <laughs> Today I'm really excited because as our continue, our yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, development of our products, our service, and the way that we handle it. That's good, I'll